Ding Darling is my friend, Pulitzer Prize winning cartoonist from Des Moines. Uh, Ding Darling is going to be here on my birthday, October 27th. I do hope that everyone will come and see this wonderful actor, Tom Milligan, who brings Ding Darling to life. Teddy Roosevelt, the man who had become my friend, who, who I rode horses with at Oyster Bay and eventually become president of the United States, represented everything that I saw, both good and bad, about the conservation movement in this country. One of the things that we talked about bringing out in this piece is, is the fact that to do things well and to do things right, uh, people really need to work together. What I saw was an opportunity to take my advocacy for conservation and wildlife and all those issues to a much broader audience. But I always wondered whether Roosevelt gave me that job just to take my cartoons, many of which contained an anti-Roosevelt message, off of the front page for a while. But I took the job anyway. He's a very complex guy, and when I started to write this show, I had no idea. I thought I was going to be writing a show about an, an artist and a cartoonist, and all of a sudden, here's this conservationist that has made such a huge impact. I've learned much from the lessons of life, but one of the most important is, is the strength of and love for family is paramount in building a successful society. Those are good words, even for today. Come to uh, the Legends of Conservation, where you'll see my dear friend Tom Milligan portraying Ding Darling on October 27th, Theodore Roosevelt's birthday. Ding Darling at the Legends of Conservation. Bully! <laughs>